So we're back in Justin's uh, Challenger TA after the Barton shifter. Uh, it's what, a little, almost a year later, isn't it? Not quite a year. So, and now, because the way he drives, I don't know if he gets nervous, too much G-force or what, but we have to take it apart and see if it's broken or not. I don't know what he did to it. It's a little loose, at least. So, just we're going to take it apart. All right, so here, the deal is you have to go back around the side here, loosen this up so that the screw comes out, not all the way out, till it comes out of this slot. Right there, till it comes out, and then go back in and tighten the screw up that's reset. All right, don't do this again, you hear me? Don't do this again. No promises. It was center twisting because remember, if you put one of these in, you'll know it. This set screw right here, sets inside a dent, denture, nipple, whatever you want to call it. It just, it's recessed in. And uh, it just came out, just a little Allen screw. And we just had to take it all apart and just tighten this little screw up. And we're good to go. Because somebody don't know how to drive. I drive perfectly fine. Don't know how to drive decently. <laughs> all right, that's all it was. And it's all back together. Found out you don't even have to take a screwdriver in here. Just pull this out. And Justin actually pulled, put his hand in there and just yanked and ripped it up pretty good. Just don't break it. Yeah. Try to drive sensible. He hasn't got a ticket yet. But, uh. I just keep breaking the yeah, car. Yeah, it's back to how it was. Just a little problem. If anybody encounters with their Barton shifter turning or coming out, just.